Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, it's good to see you one more week. This is the last week, okay? Your last classes in module two. Okay. I will share with you the topic and the activities we have for today's class, okay? So let me share the screen. Good. Topic for today is popular sports vocabulary. So we're going to learn about that. And today is Monday, September 26, 2022. And it's our class number 13. Okay, the objective is that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the United States and Canada. The activities, activity one, recalling previous knowledge. Activity two, sports seasons, the vocabulary. Activity three, practice. And activity four, wrap up. So let's start with taking the attendance, okay? So let me take the attendance, let's see. Who is here today in class? I see more people are connecting just now. Okay, so we're going to start with Daniel Quintanilla. Now he's here. Hello, coach. <laughs> Hello, Daniel. Okay, congratulations, you're on time. Okay, <laughs> Daniela Magali Asensio. Daniela Magali, not yet. Okay. Delmi Areli Oliva. Present. Thank you, Delmi. Elizabeth Esmer no, Esmeralda Elizabeth. Gabriela Vigaín. Jacqueline Vanessa. Eh, Jocelyn Gabriela. Present, teacher. Jocelyn. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Present. Thank you. Jose Vidal Vázquez. Present. Okay, Jose, it's good to see you. Karen Elizabeth Carpio. Karen Elizabeth García. Ok, ok, estará de oyente. Ok, Karen. Veamos. Next is Katherine Yasmín Guatemala. Present. Thank you, Katherine. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño. Not in the class yet. Ok, what about Margarita? I'm oh, sorry. Ya mencioné a Katrin, ¿verdad? Margarita Elizabeth, no está. Mayra Arely. Niña Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Niña. Victoria Ingrid. Present. Jancy Melanie. Present. And Jeremy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody for, uh, for being present in this class and for being on time. Okay, so let's continue with the topic. Let's see. Good. Okay, um, let's see how much you know about sports. I have some questions here and I would like you to tell me your opinion, your comments. For example, the number one, what sports do you know? What sports do you know in English? What are some sports you know in English? Football? Football, American football, which is different from the football that we play here. Baseball? Baseball, it's very common. Volleyball. Volleyball, great. 
Tenis. Tenis. Bike riding. Bike riding, exactly. Riding. Hockey. Okay, ice hockey, yes. Rugby. Rugby, great. Football americano. American football. Golf. Golf, yes, it's a sport too. Okay, I see you know many sports and that's awesome. Okay, next question is, which sports do you practice? Ah, this question is different. <laughs> we know the sports, we can watch the sports on TV or movies, but which sports do you practice? Let's see. Do you, Catherine? Can you repeat, Catherine? Ninguna teacher. Ah, okay. How do you say that in English? ¿Cómo dice eso en inglés? Esa es la pregunta que cómo se decía. <laughs> try, try, okay. I I play. I never Okay. I never practice. Yes, I never practice a sport. Okay, yes, it's correct. Or you can uh, or you can say I don't practice any sport. I don't practice any sport. But yes, Catherine, good, good participation. Okay. Someone else, which sports do you practice? Do you practice soccer? I practice basketball sometimes. Okay, Jonathan, you sometimes practice basketball. Okay. That's nice. Mm, Jocelyn Gabriela, do you practice any sport? Ooh, I don't practice sport. Okay, you don't practice sports. How do I how do I say como digo déjeme ver Un día les dije Let me see let me see mm, Well you can use those expressions in English it won't sound more natural okay Let me see mm, well I don't practice any sports very nice. And uh, next question. Does someone in your family play any sport? For example, my brother goes biking every weekend. My brother goes biking. He likes biking. And my husband plays soccer. Okay, what about your family? Does someone in your family play any sport? Maybe your sons, your brothers, your sisters, your husband, your boyfriend? Father. Does someone in your family play any sport? My brother, solo que es practice para la tercera persona sería practice, practices. Practices. Okay, my brother practices judo. Hey, that's great. Excellent, Jonathan. Okay, judo is another sport. Okay, some another participation. Um, practice play soccer. Okay, Daniel, I couldn't hear you. Who practice soccer? My son practices play soccer. Okay, the son practices soccer. Or the son plays soccer. Okay, that's good. It's a good sport. Okay, next one. 
which sport would you like to practice if you lived in the USA or Canada? Okay, the weather conditions are different in our country and in those countries, because they, for example, in those countries, the United States and Canada, it is notes. So which sport would you like to practice if you live in the United States or Canada? In my case, I would like to practice snowboarding in the snow, right? Snowboarding. What about you? Which sport would you like to practice if you live in the United States or Canada? I could, could like practice skinning. Please. I could like practice skinning. Um, okay. Skin. Okay, skin. Skin. Very nice. Okay, this expression means me gustaría, I would like. I... Daniel, do you have a comment? No. Okay. No? Uh, I would like to practice make a food. Hey, I, I couldn't hear you well. You would like to practice? Kung Fu? Kung Fu! Football. Football, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Okay, another question. Do you like watching the sports on TV? Or not? It's boring. Yes, I watch soccer. Okay. Salvadorian or... European or Mexican? Or... International soccer. <laughs> okay. Not the national soccer teams. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Guys, please practice because I just had a big lunch and I feel sleepy. So you'll have to help me <laughs> to keep me alive in this, to keep me awake in this class. Okay. Now, after that, let, you can see here some sports seasons in the United States and Canada. Depending, depending on the seasons, they have some sports. What are the four seasons? Who can tell me the four seasons? Las cuatro estaciones in English. The four seasons. Spring, spring, summer, summer, spring. Fall. 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 Winter. Exactly. Thank you. We have a spring. You, we see the flowers bloom, the, the trees. In the summer, well, it's very hot. In the fall, you can see the, the leaves of the trees falling down. And it rains in the winter. It rains and it snows. Okay. So tell me, in the spring, people play golf and people play soccer. soccer. Okay. Yeah. In the summer, soccer. people play baseball. Baseball, tennis, play tennis. Play tennis. People play volleyball. Play volleyball. People go swimming. swimming. In the fall, people play football. People go bike riding and people go hiking. Oh, that is a nice activity, hiking. Hiking volcanoes, for example, or hiking mountains. In the winter, people play hockey, people play basketball, people go ice skating. For me, that's scary. And people go skiing. In different, different sports. Mm -hmm. And you can see the different sports over here. Okay. So when, as you notice, what are the verbs that we use when we talk about sports? ¿Cuál es el verbo que utilizamos? ¿Qué verbos utilizamos? 
jugar. Okay. Play. Play. What other verb can we use? Go. Go. Exactly. Who? Yes, porque algunos sí son games, algunos son juegos, ¿verdad? Donde hay dos equipos. Pero hay otras en las que es diferente la actividad. Y entonces utilizamos el verbo go. Por ejemplo, for example, go by riding in your bicycle. Entonces dice ir a bicicletear, por ejemplo. O ir a escalar. Ir a patinar sobre hielo. Ir a practicar esquí. Entonces, ir a nadar. Go swimming. Ok, and so we can use play and we can use go. And that is called collocations. Tenemos play, go, and do. Play, deportes con pelota y competitivos. For example, play soccer, play golf, play basketball. Go, deportes que acaban en ing. Go swimming, go running, go cycling. Todos los que terminan en ing, go. Y do, deportes, actividades sin pelota. No hay pelota. Por ejemplo, hacer levanta pesas. Do wave lifting. Do cutlery, karate, cutlery, or karate. Do yoga. Okay, so activities or sports without a ball. Okay, do wave lifting, do karate, do judo. Do yoga, okay. Do boxing or kid boxing, <laughs> okay. Yes, so that is, that is the difference. With some sports, we use play, with others, go, and with others, do. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? So far, so good. <laughs> yes, English is a piece of cake. Now we had more verbs that collocate with the sports and offer another free time activities. We have a more complete list here. Maybe you can repeat after me with your microphone off. Go bowling. Que es a los bolos, jugar a los bolos, ¿verdad? Go bowling. Go cycling, go dancing, go fishing in the Lempon River. You can go fishing, go jogging, go riding, go running, go sailing in the lake, in the ocean, go skating, go skiing, go swimming. And go wrestling, que es levantar pesas. Do wrestling. Okay, do, with do we have aerobics, do aerobics, do archery, do eh, athletics, do ballet, do exercise. Um, do gymnastics, do judo, do cutlery, do kung fu, do taekwondo, do tai chi, and do yoga. Perdón, wrestling es lucha, lucha, lucha. Okay, wrestling, esta vez. Okay, with play, we have play baseball, play basketball, play board games, juegos de mesa, like chess. Play chess, play cricket, play football, play hockey, play rugby, play snooker, play squash, squash, right? Uh, play table tennis and play volleyball. Okay? So those are more, there are more. Uh, more activities in the sports.
Okay. And we have here some explanations. Go is, oh, sorry. Go is used for activities and sports that end in ing. Do is used with non team sports in which any equipment is not used. Miren, do es usado para deportes sin equipos en los que cualquier equipo o herramienta uh -huh, no es utilizado. Play is used for team sports or the sports that need objects such as ball, as a ball or this. We don't use make to talk about sports. We use go, do, or play. Okay. Now, guys, I want you to make two questions using how often do you go? Y usa una de estas. How often do you do? And how often do you play? For example, I can ask you, eh, Vidal, how often do you go dancing? I go skating. Can you repeat, please? I go skating. No, no, I said dancing, dancing. How often do you go dancing? Dancing with music. How often do you go dancing? Maybe you never, right? <laughs> okay. And um, how often do you do aerobics, Catherine? I often. I often do. I usually. Yes. I usually practice aerobics. Okay, very nice, Catherine. And the last one, how often do you play basketball, Jonathan? I usually play basketball. Yes. Play, I play basketball. Yes. Very nice, very nice. Excellent. Okay, so please let's write the questions, please. Eh, coach, ¿y por qué ballet no va incluido en dancing? Si es parecido al baile. It's different. Ballet is a different type of thing. Sí. It requires other abilities. Different than then. Not all the people that dance can do ballet. You have to learn how to dance ballet. Welcome, Daniela. Hello. Hello. Okay, I hope you're working in the in the questions. Okay, ¿ya terminaron? Did you finish? De hacer las preguntitas, así como el ejemplo. Dos, two questions with how often do you go? Two questions with how often do you do? 
And how often do you play? Teacher, y esta actividad es de, en la primera dice, ¿con qué frecuencia vas? O sea, uno tiene que poner la actividad que hace y ahí contestar las pre, estas tres preguntas. Ah, ok, gracias, teacher. Are you finished? You can write, you can type in the chat if you want, or you can read your questions. Okay, we have one person in the chat. It says, Jonathan, how often do you, okay, Jonathan, how often do you do yoga? Do yoga, okay? I never do yoga. How often do you play chess? I rarely play chess. How often do you do ballet? I never do ballet, okay. <laughs> Good examples, okay? Just be careful with yoga is do yoga, okay? Okay, thank you for the participation. Miren, cuando uno participa, tiene la oportunidad de aprender. ¿Verdad? Si no se equivoca, pues ahí vamos aprendiendo. Pero si no, pues nunca vas a ver si estuvo bien o estuvo mal. Okay, more messages. Victoria, how often do you play hockey? I never play hockey, okay? It's not a popular sport in our country, right? It's not a popular sport. Okay, did you finish, guys? Did you 
Daniela Magali? Did you finish? Yes. Okay, Daniela, can you ask your questions to, to Delmi Arely? Porque se te desapareció. Quítate, pues, que enciendo la cámara. Ok, Daniela. Sí. How often do you go riding? Riding, riding, riding. Ah, like a bicycle, riding a bicycle. I never go to riding. Go riding. I never go riding. I never go riding. Okay, thank you, Delmi and Daniela. For, thank you for your participation. Okay, now a question with how often do you do? Jancy, can you ask your question to Margarita Elizabeth? How often do you do yoga? Margarita? Si sí tiene abierto el audio, pero no se le escucha. Okay, maybe she has problems. Uh, maybe, let's see, Jocelyn, you can answer Jancy's question. Repeat, por <laughs> I never practice yoga. Okay, Margarita, now we can hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Jeremy, can you ask question, how often do you play? Can you ask Jocelyn? Jeremy, make the question, please. <laughs> Que le haga la pregunta a Jocelyn. How often do you play? Y tiene que mencionar uno de estos. Um, ¿Con cuánta frecuencia juegas? Football. How often do you play football? How often do you play football? I usually play football. Very nice, very nice. That's great, Jocelyn. Okay, I can see you can use them. Now we are going to do an exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. One moment. This is just to consolidate the learning. Okay, we usually use play for team sports and ball sports, for example, play football. We usually use go for the sports that end in ing, for example, go running. And we normally use do for individual sports that don't end in ing, for example, do karate or do cutlery. Now we are going to complete the charts with the scores in the box. I will send you the link so that you, if you want, you can do it by yourself. But we are gonna do it together too. Okay, so with play, we have aerobics, archery, athletics, badminton, basketball, canoeing, cricket, gymnastics, hockey, cutlery, rugby, running, sailing, skiing, and volleyball. Okay, which ones goes with play? Thank <laughs> you. 
badminton, basketball, volleyball. Okay, play. Let's go in order. Play badminton. Okay, because it's in teams. Badminton. Okay, play. Basketball. basketball. Play. Cricket. Play cricket. Okay. Play volleyball. Okay, before we have play hockey. Hockey. Play. Tennis. Rock me. De los que están en el cuadro, eh. Rock me and finally volleyball. Volleyball. Okay, with go. Remember they finish in ING. Go. Running. 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 Go canoeing. Go canoeing. Go canoeing. Go canoeing. Go sailing. Go sailing. Go sailing. Go do aerobics. Rugby. Do archery. Archery because it's, you do it alone. Athletic. Do Athletic. Karate. Do cutlery. Do gymnastics. También. Do gym. Gymnastics. 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 Okay, thank you. Now complete the text with the correct present simple form of play, go or do. It says, in my school, boys and girls practice a lot of different sports. In winter, girls go play, play, play hockey while the boys Play. Play rugby. Okay. When it rains, we. Do. We do. Exactly. We do gymnastics or we. Do. Play. Badminton. Go. We do badminton. badminton. Play badminton. Inside. Jugamos badminton adentro. Sometimes we play. Exactly. Play. play volleyball too. A veces también, tú significa también, también jugamos volleyball. In the summer, girls play. Girls play tennis and boys play. Play. Cricket. Sometimes do. we do athletics to prepare for the school sports day. There's an after school club on Monday and Wednesday where you can do another Tuesday and Thursday where you can. Oh. Some of the older students go, go, exactly, go running together. In the There's a special club. There's a special club three times a week for, for parents who do aerobics. That would be nice, right? To do aerobics. Every year, our school organizes two trips. In winter, we go, 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 go. And in the summer, we go to Spain. 
go. And go. Go. Or play. Or go. Go. Canoeing, exactly. Go. Remember, play con los que se juegan en equipos. Y son juegos, por eso, ¿verdad? Hay competición. Go, cuando terminan en ING, actividades que terminan en ING. And do, actividades que se pueden hacer solos o sin ningún equipo especial. ¿Ok? Let's check. Excellent. Oh, aquí me equivoqué, se me olvidó la L, no le puse la L. <laughs> Athletics. Ok, excellent. Good job, good job. Very nice. Now, let me show you the. Excuse me a moment. Okay, now coming back to the presentation. Um, okay. Um, in the previous, not, not in the previous, but in some other classes, we have learned WH questions, right? So as you can see here, it's just a review. In WH questions, it, we have some question words. Who, we use who when we ask for a person, quien. What, when we ask for a thing or an action, que o cual. When, when we ask for a time, cuando, when. Where, when we ask for a place, where, in the church, in the supermarket, in the restaurant, in my house, where. How is the way something is or the way something happens? Como, como llegaste, como te sientes, Cómo lo hiciste, eh, cuántos, cuántas, etc. And why is the reason? Por qué, por qué, ¿ok? Don't forget the WH question words. Ya se las sabían, ¿verdad? Ya las habíamos visto un poco. Solo para recordar. Why is this important? Well, because in the next conversation, you will see um, they are using the WH questions. For example, this says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> okay, it's very interesting. Give me a moment. Okay. So this is a very interesting conversation, okay? What do you do in your free time? I love sports. What is sports? Ah, many sports, but he doesn't play the sports, right? He just watch them on the television. Give me a moment, guys. I need to do something here, right here. Give me a moment. Okay, so um, what are the what are the the WH words? For example, we have what sports do you like? When do you play all these sports? What do you do in your free time? So as you can see, we have the different WH questions. But what is the structure? Okay, we have what is sports, 
who, where, how often, when, and what time. Okay, so we have what sports do you play? Who do you play baseball with? Where do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice? And what time do you start? The structure, WH question word, do or does, depending on the subject, then we have the verb and the complement, okay? We can also use the negative form with questions. For example, uh, why don't you study English, right? We can also use it. But as you can see here in the simple present WH questions, what sports do you play? What colors do you like? What food do you prefer? And uh, the tea, I don't think of others. What kind of music do you like? Okay, and then you have the answer. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? Who do you play baseball with? Si notan, con who es diferente. Tenemos who, do and does, the subject, the verb, and with. ¿Por qué utilizamos el with al final? ¿Alguien tiene una idea? ¿Alguien tiene una idea por qué? Por la pregunta con quién. Exactly, porque la pregunta es con quién, ¿verdad? Entonces, en inglés, el, el quién va a ir al final. No es who with, ¿verdad? Sino es who do you play baseball with. ¿Con quién juegas baseball? ¿Con quién juegas baseball? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Puede hacer otra pregunta, por ejemplo, who do you lead with? Who do you live with? ¿Con quién vives? Puedes escribir aquí en el chat para preguntar eso, ¿verdad? Who do you live with? Ok, pero el with va a ir al final. Who do you live with? Oh, I live with my parents, for example. Vivo con mis papás. Or I live with my husband. In my case, right? Ok. Luego tenemos, where do you play? ¿Dónde juegas? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? ¿Cuándo a menudo practicas? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. ¿Cuándo practicas? Practicamos los... Los... Sundays. Domingo. Okay. What time do you start? ¿A qué horas empiezan? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. A las 10 de la mañana. Exactly. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Remember that you is singular and also is plural. So in this case, ¿a qué horas empiezan? Empezamos a las 10. Aquí el you está en, en eh, plural. Segunda persona plural, ¿ok? So this is the structure. WH question word, do or does, depending on the subject. Then we have the subject, the verb in the base form and the complement. ¿Ok? Do you have any questions about the questions? WH questions. Vale, vamos a hacer un ejercicio similar. Pero en vez de hablar de los deportes, podemos pensar en otra cosa. Por ejemplo, ¿qué puede ser? Puede ser, por ejemplo, what kind of, what kind of music do you listen to? Puede ser esa. Or what type of movies do you watch? Or what, what kind of food, que tipo de comida, what kind of food do you cook? Uh -huh. 
What else? What languages do you speak? Okay. Y luego vamos a seguir haciendo preguntas con esa misma. Por ejemplo, si, si usamos la primera. What kind of music do you listen to? ¿Qué tipo de música escuchas? Entonces puede decir, who, who do you listen to? En este caso no puse el with, miren, sino who do you listen to? Es a quién escuchas. Como a qué cantante, ¿verdad? Who do you listen to? A quién escuchas. Eh, when, puede ser, ¿verdad? When do you listen? Y usted puede decir, bueno, en who do you listen to? You can say, oh, I listen to eh, Shakira, por ejemplo. When do you listen to Shakira? When do you listen to her? Okay. Oh, I listen to her when I go to bed. Cuando me voy a dormir. Or when I do the cleaning. Cuando hago la limpieza. right? Or when I am sí. doing my homework. When I do my homework. Cuando hago mi tarea. Teacher. ¿Ya? Disculpe, yo le quería pedir ayuda en, en algo de la plataforma. Que la verdad no le entiendo muy bien. Será que me ayuda. Ok. Uh, yes. In three minutes. A la 1 y 55. 1.55. We can go to the platform. Okay. 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 Yes, tell me. Puede ser, mire, tell me what beaches do you like to visit? ¿Qué, qué eh, playas le gusta visitar? Y pues, ¿con quién va a la playa? Eh, ¿Cuánto va a la playa? ¿A qué hora van a la playa? O con quiénes va, qué hacen ahí. ¿Okay? Entonces, de la primera pregunta, vamos a hacer las demás preguntas. ¿Okay? No sé si me comprenden. ¿Se comprende la actividad? Jonathan. Eh, teacher, yo tenía una pregunta. Eh, en este caso, vaya, las preguntas ya están establecidas, pero así las respuestas eh, se sigue así como una estructura como esta o uno las formula acuerdo porque por ejemplo la de la música yo podría decirle I like rock music es correcto contestar así mm, ok what kind of music do you like to listen si sí puede responder I, I like rock music también puede responder I like to listen to rock music mm. ok ¿Alguien más tiene? Sí entendimos qué vamos a hacer con, con, de una pregunta del mismo tema, digamos. Vamos a ir preguntando. Por lo menos que utilicemos cuatro, cuatro w, different WH words. Aquí hace falta, por ejemplo, why. ¿Por qué? Esa no está, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, sería why do you like to listen to rock? ¿Por qué te gusta escuchar rock? Why do you like to listen to rock? Or why do you like to listen to reggaeton, right? Entonces, we can start writing the questions. Ok, pueden mandar sus preguntas también en el WhatsApp, en el grupo de WhatsApp, si no las terminan ahorita. And now, eh, Jeremy, ¿qué sección es la en la que necesita ayuda? Permítame, le digo. 
um, donde aparecen un montón de casas. Entonces, es una, no es de las últimas secciones, sino de las, creo que esa es como la sección 3, si no me equivoco. Del examen final, ah, dice. Ah, el examen final. Ah, Ahí lo que se va a hacer es eh, poner el número, eh, de, nada más escucharlo, y poner eh, el número en inglés al, a la casa que corresponde, o sea, la descripción de la casa que corresponde. Hola, pero no debe poner el, el orden de las imágenes en números, sino en letras, los números. Ajá, exacto. Porque ahí es donde yo fallé. Ajá, sí. Es este, listening. Ajá, ese. Listen to four people describe their homes, number the pictures from one to four, type the numbers in letters. Aquí está la instrucción, mire. Ponga los números en letras, no el número, sino por ejemplo, what? For F O U R, right? Do not need a capital letter or a period. No necesita poner en mayúscula ni un punto. Page 45. Exercise 4. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Okay, so that is the exercise, right? Ah, solo eso era. Yo pensé que era, se le tenía que agregar algo más. Yo le estaba agregando más. No, only that. Okay, so that's why it's important to read instructions. Listen to four people, describe their homes, number the pictures from one to four, type the numbers in letters. Do not need a capital letter or a period. Okay, gracias y gracias a las chicas que me dijeron también. Yeah, you know. Okay, yes. Yeah, in this week or today, I think you have to do the final exam. I don't know if you have another question before we finish the class. Mm, this is what we studied today, right? Who means time, place, people, choice, thing, or object? People. Exactly. Where? Time, place, people, choice, thing, or object? Place. Place. When? Time, place, people, choice, thing, or object? Time. Time. Exactly. Which? Choose. Which is an option uh, or choice? When the, we have when we have different options, this is most which. For example, I have a book and uh, and a notebook. Which do you prefer, the book or the notebook? Which do you prefer? I have two options. Or Pizza. which do you want, pizza or hamburger? Okay. When we have a choice, we use which. Yes, Victoria? Solo si es comparación, si no, no. No puedo decir cuál es tu tipo de zapato favorito. Cuando tenemos, usamos el what cuando no sabemos. 
y el which uh -huh. cuando tenemos opción, si tenemos que elegir. Ah, ok. okay. Solo para opciones. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. And what? Objects or things. Exactly. Thing or object. Ok. And tomorrow we are going to study in the class the use of can't and can't, okay? I know you have an idea, right, about this. This is to talk about abilities, can and can't. But we are gonna do it tomorrow in the class. But if you have any questions, I can help you right away. No? Yes? No? Maybe? Tomorrow? <laughs> Okay, guys, it's 201. I would like you to tell me what did you learn in today's class? What was the topic? You see the WH question? How to use WH questions. Okay, that was one topic. Questions, what else? Different sports. Uh, Different sure. sports. Frequency adverbs again. Okay, we continue practicing frequency adverbs with the question how often? And we learned some collocations, right? Sports with play, go, go, and do. And do. do. Can you give me examples with play? Tennis. Play basketball. Football. Play football. Play football. Play so okay, softball. <laughs> and with go? Go swimming. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go running. Okay, go skiing. And what about do? Do exercise. Do valid. Do valid. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation and your attendance today. Okay. I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow, the teacher. last days son los últimos días. Así es que no faltemos a las clases. Okay. Bye, see you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care.